What's up everybody, it's your boy West Grand, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is the channel where I get my nerd reviews on today's nerd news, but I also get my reviews on movies that I watch. And today's review is going to be about Rampage, starring The Rock, or Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It also starring uh, Naomi Harris, who's, uh, you know, the co-star, and uh, for a brief, for, you know, for most of the parts throughout, it's uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You guys might know him as uh, Sam and Dean's father from, you know, Supernatural, or you might know him as uh, Bruce Wayne's father from the Batman vs. Superman flashback, or you might know him from uh, The Watchers as uh, the critic, or what's, I forget what his name was, a comedian? Or you might know, I'm gonna stop right there, because this dude's been in a lot of things. And whenever I see him, it is always a joy to see him. Uh, but this time, he's he's definitely played a different role. He played a more southern, like military kind of co-op uh, guy, which I definitely liked. Um, from I heard, from the reviews that I've heard from him and watched, I like, the, people made it seem as if he was a little bit over the top, and you know they liked him, but it got annoying. But I didn't I actually. I found a little endearing. I I, I liked him. Uh, like you know, one of the lines he says is. Uh, my, my daddy always told uh, told me that uh, us assholes got to watch out for each other, you know, so or, or us, us assholes got to stick together, whichever the way it was, but I definitely liked him because, you know, I thought they were going to try and make him like the guy you didn't want to, you know, didn't want to root for or whatever, but, and, and, and you know, not even at the end, through, like from like the middle on whatever, or, or even the beginning, when they first meet up, you kind of suspicious of him uh, with The Rock and the lady, uh, Naomi Harris, uh, but The Rock and her, their chemistry, from what I heard, whatever, it made it seem as if it was going to be a little bit too forced. Though, I know I wouldn't be like, okay, yeah, they're going to be hooking up at, by the end of this. Because a lot of times, that's what happens. Spoiler alert, it doesn't happen in this. But it makes sense. I mean, if you're going through traumatic things and super things, like crazy things... The person you're going through with it, sometimes like you, there's a little bit of bond, so there might be a little bit of chemistry going on with this. So it was definitely believable. It wasn't like it was forced down my throat. Like they didn't even kiss or whatever at the end. So it's definitely that that the um, relationship being forced was no issue to me whatsoever. Now the real relationship is between The Rock and George. George the great, uh, the the monkey. And if this is CG, this is some good ass CG because this monkey looked real. Granted. They do have that technology from, you know, Planet of the Apes or, uh, you know, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. They do have that technology, so if this is a real albino or a guy in a suit or they just add a little bit of CG, regardless, it was good. It looked really good. And George, I liked his personality. Uh, he was funny. Uh, like, you know, he's doing the movie, you know, he's like this, whatever, like, yo, know, like, and he's making these these jokes, he just mess with people and, yeah. Like, they really quickly made you kind of fall in love with this 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 gorilla, and so when things start going wrong for it, it definitely made you like feel for it, and uh, and then even when you know it was going crazy, you're like oh hopefully they don't put it down, but you know with the whole they say regenerating, everything was great. Uh, from the time um, the Rock first was talking with him, doing the sign language, you just knew there was that connection, and uh, with the Rock. Of course, you know, females are throwing themselves at him, but uh, he kind of explains why he was he went through a lot of wars. He's seen what pe what people can do, what they're what they're willing to do just to make themselves get ahead or for, for, for their happiness. And he didn't like it. So therefore, he kind of he he, he kind of he's sort of an extrovert. Like he talks to people. He's very cordial with people. He talks to people and like he he's he's you know, he works. He can work with people. He's very commanding because he did. You find out that he was in the military. You know what I'm saying? Like he was a that special forces type of thing. But yeah, like it, he, I, I'm sort of the same way in a way that I'm an introverted extrovert. I can talk to people. I can be all around people, have a great time, make them laugh. But I do prefer to be by myself a lot of the times. I just that I just that's the way I am. It's it's weird how to go about it, like you know. But there's a lot of people like that, where like um, you could be extrovert and be very outgoing, but still at the same time you just reserve and you want to be by yourself a lot of the times, because you know like we have our thoughts to ourselves. Which you know everybody, if, there's nothing wrong with that if you guys like that. Like me, I, I like that as well. But going back to the movie, the the main the main villains uh played by what's it Jake Lacey. And I believe the 
the the female's name is a uh, main I can't, ooh, no. uh Bree Bree Hill I believe that's her name yeah um there's sort of one note uh the one the lady was bad guy villain nothing else the the brother was kind of just the this kind of stupid guy that you know just has the money he's he's just there he's part of the team but the main the brain of the the whole situation is the sister so I did like him because it, it, it was a little bit of comic relief as far as you know going back and forth with them and then you're seeing you know this guy's going crazy oh no what's gonna go wrong then the sister's always got the plan got a way to deal with it and then uh, the the main like animals is you've got your wolf. They showed you where the wolf flying. You seen a commercial where he was like, oh, he had a flying wolf now. Or or they had the uh, the the you know the gorilla George or this giant crocodile. Now, as far as George, one thing that was kind of itching at my brain was like, how come George is so much smaller than the rest of them? Like, how's the wolf? larger than George. George was a great, was a gorilla. So you would think with the, the, the if they are being introduced to this toxin, like, like maybe George would grow a little bit bigger. But, each toxin was a different mixture, so therefore they were all going to grow. It was supposed to increase their strength, their agility, their healing, their reaction, and uh, like their growth. But it wasn't the same concoction, so I could understand why George didn't grow as big. Also, George does not actually need to grow as big to be stronger than them. Why? Because going off of the human physique, according to a gr uh, gorillas or um, yeah, the apes or whatever, they're they're about like was it five times stronger than human beings? Just so, just off, even though they seem, might seem smaller, their muscle tendons are a lot different. So therefore, they're they're a lot stronger. Like that lady that got her face ripped off, that was just from a chimpanzee. You know what I'm saying? So, mind you, a gorilla being even bigger. It's it can take down that wolf. It can take down that alligator. Well, that alligator was pretty damn big. I tell you that much. That thing it definitely put it to uh, put them all to work. But there was a lot of over the top things. That's and I'm gonna kind of close it up as far as this movie knows what it is. It knows it's over the top action, sort of like the Fast and Furious franchise. But this one's even more. The only thing is this. It feels. It feels like one of those, um, like an older kind of action film, like something that you would have seen early 2000s, maybe like 19, in the 1990s. It definitely would have worked then. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't work now, but it felt reminiscent of that kind of action movie with the uh, with monsters and all that stuff. And I liked it. Um, uh, with the with the way they worked everything out, the the dialogue. Uh, the, you know, you've seen the commercial where he puts them to sleep, like, don't, you know, don't fight it. It's a big arm. Yeah, so the dialogue, you know, a lot of times it had you going, really? Like, things that happened in the movie was like, really? But, at the same time, you enjoyed watching it. I did find myself laughing a little bit, chuckling a little bit. Wasn't a hilarious movie, but it, there was moments, and the, and the ape was a big part of that. So, if I was to give this movie a review, like, a, a rating our grade like I do with my reviews I would give this a B why because it wasn't bad but it needs improvement it wasn't bad but it also it could use improvement and that's why I'm putting it at B because I would I'm not putting it C because I I came out this movie actually enjoying it I actually enjoyed the time I wasn't upset that I wasted my time, wasn't upset that I wasted my money. I ex actually enjoyed it. And I would watch it again with someone if, if, if need be. I would watch it on, you know, Netflix or whatever. I would recommend someone if you just want to see a nice little fun action. It didn't make that much money. It made only like 34 million, 34.5 million over the weekend. But hey, Rock can't win it all. It can't, everything can't be a Jumaji. So that being said, uh, this. Check it out if you if if you're interested in something like that, you know. So just uh, remember to like, comment down below. Tell me what you thought about the movie. If you've seen the movie, tell me what you think about. If you're gonna see the movie, and just share it with everybody, you know. Like, uh, uh, remember to add on to put on that notification and check out. Remember to subscribe. Check out my last review, uh, movie review, and check out my playlist of all my movie reviews. So remember, I'm Wiscrat. We'll be watching Suburban Nerd, and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next movie review.